Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to make a simple circuit to change the direction of rotation of a DC electric motor using two single pole double throw relays. These relays are the ones with five pins. Two of them are for the coil. One is the common contact and we have a normally open contact and the normally closed one. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. The way in which a single pole double throw relay works is the following. Here we have the coil, the two contacts. This is the common contact. This is the normally open contact and normally closed. There is continuity between these two contacts and because of that, this contact is normally closed and the other has no continuity with the common. So it is the normally open contact. This is the situation when the coil is not energized. But when we energize the coil, the switch here moves to the other position. And the normally closed contact is now open, there is no continuity, and the normally open is now closed. Okay, let's check the continuity. This is the common contact and the normally open. We can see there is no continuity. And in the normally closed, we do have continuity. This is with the coil not energized. Let me now apply voltage to the coil. You can hear the switch moving. And let's see again. The normally open contact now has continuity. And the normally closed is now open. Here we can see the diagram, the two relays, the motor, this is the battery for the motor and another battery for the relays. This is important because we have separated the power section and the control section. Because your motor can run not from a battery, but it can be connected directly to the mains. And you can control the motor with a simple small battery because you only need to switch the relays. Let's now see the circuit in action and then we will return to explain the connections. Okay, let's see. We have the two relays. These are the normally open contacts which are connected together and the normally closed contacts also connected together. Here we will connect the power battery for the motor. The motor is connected to the common contacts of the relays. These two contacts from the coil of each relay are connected together and go to the negative of the battery that controls the relays. And the other contacts of the coil go to the switch. And the center pin, the common of the switch, goes to the positive of the power supply for the relays. Okay, I will now connect the battery of the motor. You can see that the motor runs in the clockwise direction, but with the switch you can invert the direction of rotation. The polarity here 
is irrelevant, your motor will turn in the other direction, but the direction is controlled with the switch. Ok, let me now explain how the circuit works. As you can see, the negative of the battery goes to this point in this relay and to the similar point in the other relay. So, from here it goes to this contact of the motor and from here to the other contact. So, both poles of the motor are negative and of course the motor will not work. On the other hand, these points are for the relay coil and this other two and you can see that this and this are connected together to the negative of the battery of the relays and the positive, the other side, is selected with our switch. Now, if the switch is in this position, this coil is activated and this relay will move its position to here. Now, the positive of the battery goes to this side of the motor and we have positive negative and the motor will run in a certain direction. Now, you move your switch to the other position. This coil is deactivated and the relay returns to its rest position and the other coil is now energized and the contact moves to the other position. Now we have this side that goes to negative and this other contact of the motor goes to positive. The polarity is inverted and the motor turns in the other direction. Ok, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.